Yes, cheers did a good one. Guys, we just pulled up to a frogalicious gem of a pond and Chef's already got a fish before I can even get this intro dialed. But look, we're out here, priority number one is fishing with the topwater frogs. I'd say a pound and a half. Yeah, solid fish. And that was on a white belly frog. We literally just got here. Devin's over there. Go. I'm GoPro would up. I Chef. I threw it out right here, threw it right on top of a fish. I, I saw like something, a big wake. splash. Yeah, wake. Nuts, man. Okay, no time to waste. We gotta start frogging. Okay, I've been here about 10 minutes. No more crazy blow-ups on the frog just yet by either three of us aside from Chef's one. So I'm gonna try a fluke for a minute in this shallow water. See if I can just get a bite, some momentum real quick. Um, and then we'll try something else. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, appreciate it, man. Finally. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, so we just switched over. We were trying top water for a bit because this just looks so promising with the frog. I'm like, you know what? What the heck? Why not tie on one of these new lunker logs? One of these new lunker logs, a little four out hook, get it out there, get it kind of more close to the center. These little dudes are munching down. First one of the evening. Alright guys, so we haven't fished here in a while. The idea was come out here and fish for frogs, but it's starting to sound like the idea might be come out here and fish with the brand new Lunker Logs we just picked up from Guggen HQ yesterday. Uh, this is black and blue flake six pack. We should have grabbed like a ton of these and they are the six inch because they also have five inch. And so uh, they sold out at midnight the night they went on sale and we were like out in Florida. I couldn't even keep track, man. I was busy. We were filming for iCast and I barely got any sleep. Anyways, I forgot to order some lunker logs, so we had to drive down the street to the warehouse and we picked some up. And uh, we got a couple homies fishing off the bank over here. They've already caught one. We got a couple dudes out here on kayaks that like really know what they're doing. It's obvious there's some good fish here. Cast out a weightless Texas rig. All our weights are in the car. So we just came out here with the Carl's box. Everything we got in the unboxing videos, contents. And so that's all we're throwing. Have y'all not just been waiting for this? I'm literally like a Sanko with Guggen scent. We have been awaiting the day, and we already know they catch stuff. The problem is, can I catch anything, or is it just gonna be her? If you're gonna go weightless, I think the six inch is a good option if you're throwing on a bait caster like us being buffoons, just because you wanna be able to get it out there, that extra weight's gonna help. Let's see what happens here. There we go, we're in position. I was gonna say, this all looks open over here. Did you see that? Did you see that? Wow. That could have been a good one. That have been a good one. Up. Dang, I wonder if I can Ned rig this. Watch this. I'm going to Texas Ned rig this. You've never seen this done before. I can almost guarantee it. That oh, fish okay. hammered it. I'm going to try and like ghetto Ned rig this on the four out worm hook. And that's totally what happens when you have a light bait after throwing a heavier bait is you miscast. I went to the left when trying to go straight. There he is. Cast after on the Ned Senko. <laughs> Never doubt those lunker logs just turn them into rattling neds, minus the rattle. <laughs> oh, he got it good, he got it good. Where's the pliers? Don't do that, kid. Oh my gosh, ow. One little fish. We haven't caught the size we're looking for yet, but we are sure they're in here. We know the spot has big ones. Should I just continue throwing the ned, the ned lunker? I might just continue throwing the ned lunker for another minute or two. Yeah, you know what? I thought I needed a new worm, but I still have this one on, so. Chef's got one, way across the pond. <laughs> Pound and a half or something, sweet. No way, dude, what you throwing, dude? You tossing the frog already? Oh, okay. Yeah, Chef just got another one on the swim bait. Dang. Ooh, I think we had him, but I uh, let him go. I'm gonna take this frog and the white bird with the Senko and walk over there. Yep. Might be a good one. Still hitting that Senko. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
You know what I'm saying? I put the same single. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I got you. There we go. We out in the deep. Away. Straight down. Oh, dude, they're in here. Okay guys, we're just wrapping things up. We're fishing all the way until after sunset. It's about nine o'clock, got here at seven. Devin and I both got one fish, she got two. She was on the other side of the lake. So she got two fish, I got one fish. Chef got about uh, six, yeah, six, six fish on the all-star MVP bait over here. Show them what you're working with. All right, so basically guys, what we have here is this uh, dead pan fish and I got it at Academy for $5. And this is what I cut the majority of uh, the fish on this evening. When I first got it, I thought that there was no way that I was going to catch a fish on it. But once I got it in the water, it was absolutely epic. Replicates a dead panfish at the top of the water. Man, those bass, as soon as they saw it, exploded on it. Unbelievable. And it's got a great hollow body. Those double hooks right there that you can see. When they hit it, those hooks come right through, unlike a frog that sometimes they have a little bit of difficulty. I only missed one blow up. Go check out this guy at Academy, yo. Super sick, man. <sighs> Unexpected new lures. <laughs> Catching all the fish over here. But for Devin and I, it was awesome because it was actually our first catches on the lunker logs. So uh, that was oh, pretty man. slick. Yeah, we, we just went to the HQ the other day and we got some Ned rigs, the rattling Neds. Yeah. And, and there was limited colors because you guys were buying them up, man. And yeah. then they had lunker logs like galore. So we grabbed some lunker logs. Fun out here tonight, man. Catching some fish before sunset. That's what it's all about. We appreciate you guys for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one, man. Peace. <gasps>